Hello children, we will start our lecture uh, from heading ionic radius. Okay, so as the term indicating, the radius of an ion is known as ionic radius. And you all know that ions are of two types, positive ions, which is are also known as cations, and negative ions, anions. Okay, so, just, so according to uh, the definition of ionic radius, it is the effective distance from the center of the nucleus of the ion to the point up to which it exerts its influence on its electron cloud. Okay, so if this is the nucleus of an ion and this is the periphery of the electron cloud most probable reason for the finding of electrons periphery of the electron cloud so from the center of this nucleus okay and up to this periphery up to this periphery where this nucleus up to where this nucleus can exert its force of attraction this distance is known as ionic radius okay students so ionic radius Ionic radius is you can uh, determine ionic radius with the help of this relation also nuclear distance nuclear distance means nuclear uh, distance of two nucleus and you know that in ionic compounds uh, these uh, will be ions with a positively charged so the distance internuclear distance will be equals to the radius of cation plus radius of anion okay students so, so if you want to find radius of cation then uh, that this change this relation will become in the form of uh, r cation will be equals to internuclear distance internuclear distance minus r and ion okay students so in this way we can calculate the radius of a particular ion in the given compound why because the internuclear distance is equals to the radius of cation plus radius of anion okay students the next is Comparison of ionic radii with the radius of corresponding neutral atom and first we will compare a radius of cation Okay, so you all know that how cations are formed when any neutral Atom evolve electron then cations are formed. Okay, so for the formation of cations loss of electron is responsible okay students so uh, just keep in your mind that a neutral atom radius of a neutral atom a neutral atom is always greater than its positive ion okay as you can see from here the radius of neutral atom sodium is 186 picometer whereas the radius of sodium ion is 95 picometer and same way in next example radius of magnesium atom is 160 picometer whereas radius of magnesium ion is 65 picometer okay so we can explain uh, this uh, reduced size of positive ion under a uh, number of headings so the first point of our explanation is that when a neutral atom converted in the form of its positive ion then you can see from here that number of electronic shells can be decreased okay as sodium is having two sh uh, three shells and sodium ion is having just two shells okay so the radius is the distance from the center of nucleus to the outermost shell okay students so, 
so if number of shells will decrease then the this distance will also decrease and that is why the size of or the radius of neutral atom is always greater than its positive ion uh, this was the first point and one more example uh, iron is given here so fe it is having four shells in neutral condition and when it is converted in the form of positive ion ferrous ion it is having just two or uh, just three shells so the distance in uh, distance from the nucleus to the outermost shell in fe will be greater than uh, ferrous ion so the size electronic uh, atomic radius or radius of the atom will be greater uh, in the case of fe than its positive ion so as you know that uh, when uh, in the formation of positive ion a neutral atom loses its electrons so due to the loss of electron the effective nuclear charge in the related positive ion will be greater than its neutral atom and due to increase in this effective nuclear charge uh, the nucleus will attract electrons towards itself more strongly and that is why the radius of positive ion will be uh, less than its neutral atom then a uh, third point third point at uh, this point is very important so uh, according to this third point if we are having a number of positive ions with similar number of electrons but different number of protons okay students similar number of electrons but different number of protons so the positive ion which is which is having highest number of protons will have shortest ionic radius okay students so as you can see from here the sodium ion magnesium ion and aluminum ion all three are having 10 electrons but a number of protons are 11 12 and 13 respectively so the number of protons are highest in uh, this aluminum ion so the effective nuclear charge uh, exerted by and uh, these 13 protons will be highest for the similar 10 electrons okay so due to, uh, due to the most effective nuclear charge most effective uh, nuclear charge uh the radius of aluminum ion will be shortest the next heading is a radius of an ion so we all know that radius of an an ion is always greater than its neutral atom as you can see with this example the radius of fluoride ion is 136 picometer whereas the uh, radius of fluorine atom is 72 picometer okay students so in the case of fluoride ion the effective nuclear charge will be less due to the more number of electrons in comparison to its related atom so the radius of fluoride ion will be greater than s neutral atom now we can uh, explain these all the things uh, with the help of some points so according to this first point if there are number of negative uh, ions of different types and having similar number of electrons but different number of protons okay students so the negative ion which is having a least number of protons least number of proton will have least effective nuclear charge and that is why highest an ionic radius okay students as you can uh, as you can see from here nitride ion will have highest radius Uh, whereas oxy oxide ion will be less and the fluoride ion least 
due to the difference in the number of protons number of protons so a nitride ion is having a least number of protons that is why a least effective nuclear charge and that is why that is why highest an ionic radius okay so students then next point if the uh, ions of same element ions of the uh, same element with uh, vari various number of electrons and same number of protons okay so the unit of a particular element which is having highest number of electrons will have highest ionic radius okay or simply you can say highest radius so um, we can uh, prove this thing with the help of this example oxide ion which is having two minus charge oxygen ion which is having single minus charge and oxygen itself in neutral condition so all these three are having same number of protons but different number of electrons so due to the highest number of electrons in oxide ion this electronic charge will be highest and that is why comparatively nuclear charge will be less and due to this the radius of this oxide ion will be highest okay students now for the if some atoms and ions have same number of protons the ion having a smallest number of electrons has highest effective nuclear charge okay students so number of electrons all these units are having a different but having same number of protons so the unit which is having least number of electrons will have shortest radius okay so in the case of these ions and neutral units the iodine positive ion will have shortest radius due to the least number of electrons okay and uh, due to the these least number of electrons the effective nuclear charge for this i plus ion will be highest okay and that is why it will have uh, lowest uh, radius the next point students trend in ionic uh, radius so as atomic radius uh, increases up to down in growth and decreases left to right in period the same trend is for ionic radius also ionic radius also increases up to down in the group and decreases from left to right in the period now next heading is iso electronic ions or species so as name is indicated indicating iso means same electronic electrons so such units which are having similar number of electrons are known as iso electronic species or ions so iso electronic species may be defined as neutral or ionic species of different elements which have same number of electrons okay students for example for example argon chloride potassium and sulfide so all these four units which are negative ions positive ions neutral units are having total number of electrons 18 so such molecules ions or neutral units which are having similar number of electrons are known as iso electronic species okay so students now our uh, next heading is order of the ionic size of iso electronic species okay so students so according to the first line greater the number of protons in the iso electronic species is smaller is the ionic size so again ionic size is depend upon the electron proton ratio so the unit which is having greater num in iso electronic species the unit which is having greater number of protons will have a smallest uh, radius okay students so 
as you can see from these uh, this example aluminium magnesium sodium ion fluoride oxide and nitride ion so these all are having 10 electrons but number of protons are having uh, dissimilar aluminium is having highest number of protons so highest number of protons uh, for the same number of electrons so the force of attraction of the protons will be greatest in the case of aluminium so the radius ionic radius of this aluminium ion will be shortest okay students so